Spyro, don't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it, it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. I really think I'm beginning to get the hang of this magic malarkey. Acra badabar, no, uh, Acra baduba, uh, uh, no, no, that isn't right. Just hold on a minute, I I'll get it. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully. As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve. Nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! <laughs> All this magic is just misdirection, you know. Which is why I'm going to start that whirlwind over there. Abra Cadabra. <laughs> Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the, uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I need a small donation first for my expenses, you understand.
You shouldn't anger a magician, Spyro. I just might decide to turn you into a blue hedgehog or something. Very good. Uh, let's see. Kaspoke, a ziggledy zen. Make this bridge get long again. I'm afraid the show's over, Spyro. Why don't you go play with the gnomes? I think they look lonely. I suppose I could show you my new trick. As long as you promise not to tell the great Zamboni. He steals all my best work. Alakazam! <laughs> Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but my magic just keeps bouncing off.
Good evening, Spyro. The amazing Randini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard that it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. <laughs> I'm afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. They need a good bonk on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the man to help. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But watch out for my friends. They're trying to burrow after them. Well done! And look, one of my friends dug up this whilst chasing the moles. You must be Spyro. A lot of people are talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend? Huh? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, and I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but you know there's all these scorpions and stuff. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, Spyro. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the, uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem. But, uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. It's just as well. I've heard there are enough riches inside this tomb to pay a dragon's ransom, uh, so to speak. <laughs> Very well, then. The password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible! Okay, there was no password. I was standing in front of the wall switch. What are you gonna do? Sue me? you showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work I spend all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure well might as well have it only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway
been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers. Want to ride him and try blasting some sharks? Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. shooting comrade where'd you learn to aim like that oh by the way Bianca wanted me to give you this egg she says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes but it should still be okay <laughs> You can ride the manta ray around just for fun if you like. Okay. By the way, if you see Bianca around, can you tell her to meet here? I, uh, promised to give her scuba lessons once the sharks were gone. Mm -hmm. 